Here's how to make a classic Negrona. No messing around, just a classic recipe. You're going to take a short glass, fill that cube dice. Next thing you're going to need is some gin. Now any gin would do, don't let anyone tell you, you've got to use a specific gin. If you want my recommendation, I say London Dry works great in a Negrona, but it's up to you. And we're going to go in 25 milliliters or one shot. Next up, sweet vermouth, the exact same. 25 milliliters you see the pattern it's all the same measurements last ingredient is campari i know this don't look like campari but check it out it is campari 25 milliliters goes in finally we're gonna give that a little stir just to dilute it to finish it off once again this is a preference thing stir till you're happy with the flavor personally i like my negroni a bit strong so I like to leave this little window at the top. Now if you were to get this in a bar and you had this kind of big window, this big gap, you'll be disappointed. But for home use, nah, it's all up to you. Garnish it, we're going to take an orange and we're going to peel that. But not over the top, I'm going to peel it away as to not express too many oils. We just want it lightly infused. Are we going to express it? No. Are we going to rub it around the rim? No. So what we're going to do? Let me show you. We're going to take a paring knife and we're just going to neaten that up. It's all about aesthetics, baby. So we're just going to cut off each of the corners of the orange peel, make it look real nice, real fresh looking. Rip those off and you should get something that looks like this. And all we're going to do is give it a little light twist and just place it ever so gently in there. And there you have it. There's your Negrona. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect for me. Let me have a taste. What do I think? Do I love it? Do I not? Chef's kiss. Job well done.